The narrative over electric vehicles started in the annals when President Museveni addressed the country on the high cost of fuel. And for now, at least it seems the government is pursuing that goal of supporting electric vehicles. But the absence of authorizing legislation, the intent is to establish charging stations through the country. Our vision is to see that uh, by 2030, at least 25% of our fleet is actually electrified. Uh, we will uh, put in place a number of policy measures, including tariffs, uh, to ensure that uh, when one is using electric vehicles for charging, uh, at least the tariff is favorable. And specifically, we're looking at, uh, by 2026, having at least 250 electric buses on the road, uh, supported by at least 75 fast chargers as well as uh, 300,000 motorcycles uh, electric, either converted or new cells. And uh, the efforts by Akira Motors Corporation to put on, on the road electric buses that are already plowing the way of getting the Busega route, offering public transport, as well as uh, Zembo and border work that are in the space of electric, electric bikes. Uh, should enable us to uh, realize it. And the issue of um, regulations around chargers uh, is very important. It provides uh, trust, stability and helps long-term investors but also long-term users in, uh, in getting into this space. So we are here to, to support with the process into understanding what kind of EV charging do we need to support our mobility needs. It emerged during the consultation comprising of local and international experts that the initial cost of scaling up the ecosystem will require economy of scale as a single investor may not be able to undertake the huge investment alone. Annually, Uganda imports about 45,000 vehicles and 120,000 motorcycles. Most of these are used vehicles, about an average age of 15 years, and polluting much more than they had even been designed. Betty Dagiri, NTV Business.